going to talk about equivalent fractions. And the first fraction I want to look at is a half, simply a half. And uh, I know that a half is equal to two quarters. And you can see there's a pattern there. I'm going up uh, one, two, three, uh, two, four, six. And three out of six is also equal to a half. Now I can carry this pattern on so that uh, four out of eight is equal to a half. And one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, ten. This goes on and on and on. Uh, for, for quite a long time. There's lots and lots of fractions that's equivalent to a half. Now, one out of two is the simplest way of writing a half, but there are lots and lots of different fractions that are exactly equal to a half as well. And this shows us a very important point. If we take a number, for example, the two, and multiply that by, let's say, four, we find that we get eight. If we take the top number and multiply that by four as well, then we get the top number in uh, 4 eighths. So whatever I do to the bottom number, if I do the same to the top number, for example, multiply by the same number, I end up with a fraction that is exactly the same. I can do the same thing with a different fraction. Let's take uh, 3 quarters, for example. Now I want to find an equivalent fraction. If I multiply, for example, by 5, 3 times 5 is 15. If I do exactly the same to the bottom number, multiply by 5, I end up with 20. There I have an equivalent fraction, 15 out of 20, is the same as 3 quarters. Now I can do this to all fractions, as long as I'm multiplying the top number and the bottom number by the same number, I end up with an equivalent fraction. And you can think of this, if you like, as multiplying up or, or cancelling up. The reason it might be thought of as cancelling up is the opposite to this is in fact cancelling down. If you want to take a fraction that is more complicated such as 28 seventieths and you want to simplify it to its lowest simplest terms we can divide both numbers by the same number and this is called cancelling down. So whereas before uh, we could call it cancelling up, this is cancelling down. So what I'm looking for is a number that goes into both of these numbers. And uh, if you know your times tables, you can see that 7 goes into 28 and 7 goes into 70. So if we divide 28 by 7 and divide 70 by 7, we get an answer for tenths. Now this fraction isn't in its simplest term yet because I can actually see that I divide 10 and 4 by another number. They're both even numbers so I can divide them both by 2. So if I divide by 2 I get 2. I divide by 2 the bottom number I get 5. And now I've got the simplest fraction which is equivalent to 4 tenths and 28 seventieths, but it's the simplest form of this particular fraction.